Alright, Shaney, it is time. Sony have finally delivered with an exclusive that I'm actually interested in. Really? You're interested I, in it? Like, and I hate to say it, because you know that I'm not a big fan of Dark Souls. Yeah. Um, I thought Demon Souls was okay. Yeah, yeah. Right? Wasn't a big fan of Dark Souls. And now, from software's next one is Bloodborne. Mm. Uh, which is pretty much... I don't want to say it's the same kind of thing, but it is the same kind of thing. It's same, same, but different. There's a lot of the same elements that they have taken from their previous Souls games, but then they've changed up just everything slightly, but it changes the whole game. The one thing I noticed from playing it is that uh, the game is faster than yes. it was. I think one of the things that really annoyed me about Dark Souls 2 in particular was how slow and cumbersome it was. And mm. considering it came out at a time when I had Bayonetta just on the, on the way, and that's my style of game. Yeah. This seems far more my style in the sense that a lot more dodging, a lot more ducking and weaving as opposed to shielding because you don't actually have a shield. There's literally no shield until you actually get a shitty wooden shield. Nobody even uses it anywhere because yeah. everything so much faster than dodge is actually really, really, really tactile feel to it. It yeah. feels amazing. Like, the gameplay itself, it's similar in the style like to Dark Souls so you can actually get like your strategies back across but you've got to kind of react a lot faster. Because the other thing as well is you gain health. When you get hit, mm. you, you, your bar moves down, but then there's like a slow moving, kind of like red health in fighting games. Kind of like red health, except you actually regain it after you like hit it. So, so if, if that's that, yeah. life steal basically. Life steal. Yeah, so you hit them and you gain that health back, which encourages you to be aggressive. Mm. However, they're not, the way other thing that's just probably a little bit different is they're not stingy on the health potions this time. No, you, there's a lot of health potion drops, like you're getting a lot but just before bosses, you're always pretty much fully stocked. So it's kind of handy, kind of not, so you have to just keep backing away and healing. But the heal is so much faster. Everything is so much faster. Yeah. Healing, like attacking, you've got to just concentrate on your dodging and just go ham. Yeah, and I, I will I will 100% agree with that. One thing we should also cover is the graphics. Now, they're copying a lot mm. of flack. I don't get it. I think the architecture looks great, the design looks great, the characters, the enemies all look great. I love the design, I'm just going to put that out there. Graphically, this game is almost impeccable. Like, I, maybe facial models are a little bit off, unless they have beards, because the beards are pretty amazing. As aesthetically though, it's a different style than like, the Dark Souls people would be like, It's not that bleak, to. desolate style, it, there's yeah. so much ornate architecture there's and things like that. There's so much detail to yeah. the world. It is the Vic Victorian era kind of style. Yeah. But I really, really love this kind of stuff. Yeah, so when it's all said and done, I think if, the, if there's one thing I took away from it, it strikes me as the game The Order wishes it was, the Helsing game we wish had been made, mm. uh, and the Castlevania game for the New Age. Are they fair assessments? I'd say they're pretty fair assessments, except it's still a Star Souls game at the end. Like, it's very much f less fleshed, I guess, in a like, like RPG style. Yeah. It's much more an action game than like your previous Souls games. But it's still amazing. 